Hi all. So welcome to fourth uh, video on uh, HTML. So in this video, we will be discussing about HTML styles. So here we will be using certain elements of CSS that is cascading style sheets. So basically those are used to style certain elements. Suppose we want to style the body tag, suppose we want to style the header tag. So we will be using uh, these styling things. So we will be mostly styling the font size and the color. Okay, so these three properties are these three properties are very much uh, in use. And it is uh, like very much important for us for designing purposes. Okay, so let's get started. So first thing is, uh, we will start, we will start by, you know, writing the script so that uh, it would be better for us to understanding. So this is how you comment and then we'll just start with HTML and uh, I would uh, go directly towards body. So body, I already told you in body, we are having a background color. So I will uh, go for background color itself. So how do you actually define using style that is you should specify style equal to and then go for background background hyphen colors okay then uh, colon you need to specify the color so i am going for let's say light blue so there are n number of colors so you you can find it on uh, internet how many colors uh, does a hdm health support so there are around 140 colors so depending on your favorite shade of color you will be you can use it and then semicolon then close your quotations and then you can close it okay next i would just i i wanted to specify a heading tag so h1 i, I want to style this heading tag so basically i want the heading tag to be you know completely or the background color i want it to be let's say red Okay, for highlighted purposes. So what I'll do is I'll just specify H1 style equal to then uh, background color, background hyphen color. Okay, and then I would specify it, it as a, a red. Okay, and to specify red, pull it. Now I want to highlight. So what do I do? I'll just highlight it in this way and just close it using the slash h1. Okay, so whatever you want to specify, you need to you need to specify uh, between the opening and closing. So it is the first important thing in HTML. Okay, and uh, this is about the next. What I want to do is uh, so basically in styling in HTML styles uh, the color font and the size so next i would uh, i would uh, want to display certain text in certain font font so we are having font styles we are having n number of font styles right so how do you actually use the style attribute in doing that okay next let's say i want to print i want to display a certain uh, line using a particular font so then you go for font hyphen family so this is the attribute and then the specified font so, so there, are, there are font names many uh, font names so the most popular is arial so we have used arial n number of times right so i'll so specify it as arial semicolon and close the double quotes and you can write anything here So basically this text will be displayed in the aerial form. and then you can close the tag okay this was about the font next color is done font is done uh, next what is it size okay suppose i want certain line of text to be printed in particular size like you want to maybe you want to uh, increase the size or decrease the size so how do you actually do it is so I wanted it to be in a least uh, possible size or 
let's say let's uh, go for uh, medium so i'll go for h3 and style equal to font hyphen size so this is the uh, value of the style attribute okay and size i want it to be 200 percent so you need to give in percentage values okay and yes so i will just provide this text and then you can close the h3 tag so it is heading tag right so whenever you mention certain things in these heading tags there is no need to uh, provide the br tag because heading is basically single line so after you will not get repeated like after one line the next time that it does not get uh, displayed on in the same line right so that's why it is an advantage of using this uh, heading tags so each and every line is treated as a heading so then you can close uh, I think we are done. So basically, we are three things. That is, we have styled. We have styled uh, using colored, using the font, and using the size. Okay. Then you need to just close the body and close the HTML. Okay. So save it. Dot HTML, and then just done it so so the first thing first thing is my background color i wanted it to be light blue so it is turned to light blue next is i wanted to style html in background color red so you can see the 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 h1 the heading is completely the background color has become red right next is i wanted this to be in arial font so it got displayed in arial font next is i wanted to display this line of text in the size of 200 percent so it got displayed in that format so these are called as html styles so basically we these mostly we'll be using in CSS. So CSS is, is an extended version where we will be using, it will be HTML as assisted uh, towards CSS in styling the these kind of elements. So this was the fourth tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we'll be starting with the list concept, which is kind of very interesting. So stay tuned and goodbye.